Jamie, they took 24 million quid out of the club about two months ago. We've got now a decrepit, rotting stadium that is, to be fair, second rate when it was the best stadium in the world 15, 20 years ago. You've got a football project where they haven't got a clue. You've put bankers in charge of the football club, not making football decisions. They've not appointed a sporting director, right? We can look at the players all you like, but there are that many big things that need to be put right first. They've got to show up and basically face the music. Now's the time. British billionaire Sir Jim Radcliffe wants to buy a stake in Manchester United with a view to taking full control if the club is for sale. One source has told us he's serious about owning the club and former players would be involved in any potential offer. The development follows reports that the Glazer family are considering selling a minority stake in the club. United have declined to comment about rumours and speculation. Ratcliffe is a United fan, has invested in several sports teams in recent years. According to Forbes overnight, is worth 10.8 billion pounds. You can't get away from the ownership issue, and I've said this before, and I'll keep saying it. Under the current owners, this is what United is going to be like. The only money that has been spent on players at Manchester United is the money the club has generated or that it's borrowed. We have seen many anti-Glazer protests at Old Trafford down the years, and this was one of the biggest. Tens of thousands of United supporters pouring down to Matt Busby Way. This protest organised by the 1958, one of the Manchester United supporters groups. They wanted it to be a peaceful protest and a legal one too, and that's what they got. It was full of passion and anger towards the Glazer family. They are still so upset with them for landing this club in hundreds of millions of pounds of debt. The interest on that debt comes to about 19 million pounds a year in interest payments. There's so much more that the fans are unhappy with with the Glazer ownership, the way they've structured the club, putting perceived bankers in charge of football decisions. They also tried to lead them into a European Super League. And of course, this is the only club in the Premier League which pays its owners dividends. Because the way they bought the club and the way they loaded debt onto the club and the way the club has to pay those debts off means that United are going to fall further and further behind very well-run clubs where you've got owners who put money in, not owners who take money out. An apology, perhaps. Are the fans just customers to you, Mr Glazer? Manchester United need a billion pounds in this next two, three years to either rebuild or renovate that stadium. They probably need another five, six hundred million pounds for training ground and other infrastructure projects and football, and football investment. They've only got 40, 50 million pounds cash left in the bank. They were cash rich three years ago. They had 350 million pounds in the bank. They've no longer got that money in the bank. Something is going to have to give soon, very, very soon. Well, with the protests over for now, all eyes turn on those potential takeover talks. Last week, Manchester United fan and very businessman Sir Jim Ratcliffe confirmed that he would be interested in buying Manchester United if it were ever put up for sale. The fans that have been here tonight will be hoping that he sticks to his word and forces the Glazers into leaving their club. And he's always said that he was potentially interested in buying United if they were put up for sale. And that has now been confirmed. He said that, look, this is not about money as far as the gym is concerned. It just feels like the time is right for a reset at Manchester United.